All right, we're rolling. <laughs> I would like to restart. All right, we're rolling. Hey guys, oh, it's Alex and Jen, the Sam Mo Show. Beautiful. <laughs> What's up, Sam Martians? Welcome to another episode of the Sam Mo Show. I am, as always, your host with the Sam Most, Cleveland. Hope you guys are all enjoying your first few days of coronacation. Got a two-week spring break here with Texas State. And joining me today are two friends of mine, Jenna Headley and Lexi Rabinowitz. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Honestly, Cleveland, I really have wanted to be on your show since you started. And do you remember when I asked you and you told me you were booked? Yeah, I do remember that, and yeah. I was, I remember I was, when I was making the schedule for season three, I was like, I feel like there's somebody I'm forgetting. Like, I, I was like, I had a gap. I literally had a gap before spring break, like, in case something came up, and then... You just gonna forget we, us? We, we hang, but we, then we hung out last week, and yeah. then you brought it up, you were like, point blank, you're like, Cleveland, I want to be on your talk show. I was like, oh, well, shit. I had asked so long ago, and then Paul had brought up that he was going to be on it for the second time. Well, I was, I was going to put some of his music on, yeah. And I was just like, twice? Like, I would like to go once. That's the role of Sam Moe show. It's, it's two Pauls for every one Lex and Jen. That's okay, just, that's fair. That's just how you keep things balanced. For every one Lex yeah. and Jen. You need to keep fair. it interesting. That's, yeah. how you, that's how you... Oh, I think we should probably introduce you. You want to go by the roots, right? You want to introduce yourselves okay, by yeah. the roots. Okay, Cleveland, you've honestly been my president for a long time now. Jen. <laughs> yeah, so for the, for the listener's context, we all went to high school together, and and here and here we are now, years later, on a podcast. If this is what success looks like, then I, I, I think we've made it. Honestly, <laughs> I think we need a better Being picture. your secretary and treasurer shaped me into the college student yeah. I am today. Jen, Jen and Very I are successful. Jen, Jen and I are still both racked with debt. We're both racked with debt. Racked with debt. Not racked. Well, Jen and I, we're both racked with uh, guilt. That's not the word. We're both racked with guilt because we started the I psychology do club. Too, we do have debt. <laughs> um, yeah. A lot. A lot As natural for college students. But we were racked with, uh, with just regret and guilt because we started the psychology club at Samuel Clemens High School. And then immediately after, we just dipped. <laughs> but we had three meetings. And those meetings did a lot. We, we had dogs at one. We made we had dogs. We had, we we had made... stress balls. We like like little rice mm-hmm. inside a little... Did you mastermind? I think so. I'm that gonna take. Nice. I'm gonna take I credit. That, I'm gonna honestly. take credit for that. Uh, Heather was also in there. It wasn't. Heather did the signs. I think. Heather did the signs. We always had good signs for our, our meetings that we did. Our meetings, post. yeah. Heather, Heather, of course. Uh, if you're listening, shout out. Uh, apparently, she's... Heather. I think you're the funniest bitch I know. <laughs> I don't know if I can cuss on you, but that yes, is you what can. I think. No, you totally can. You're so funny. I think Heather you're so funny, bro. And dress is so cute. That's not the point. Sorry. Okay. And then Lexi. Cool. We have Lexi. a star in the room. Yeah, Lexi. Actually, it, please, please do run you down your resume real quick. Or, um, head cheerleader? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, I was head cheerleader. <laughs> we slid by that one, folks. <laughs> Carried the team on her back. Um, while the doing back backflips. Going, no. <laughs> Some light. So. Some jokes. What is, what is cheerleading life like? Like, really? Well, I am retired. Yeah, but like back back, back in your prime. A joke? Question mark? No, I'm just like <laughs> it was pretty cool. Honestly, I liked. Honestly, I really liked your signs. Like that was oh, like thanks. my favorite part. Of I, was the, I was the I was the sign dance. guy. Yeah, I was yeah. the sign guy in high school. I, I don't I don't think oh, I've ever actually ever mentioned that like extensively on here. But yeah, really, yeah. really. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have your like throwback like, career? career? Yeah. You were so known for that. Like I, I think yeah. underclassmen tried to like recreate it and it didn't like pick up like, yeah. after you left. Like, uh, I just, like, I don't think they, they just, ones. they had, they didn't have like the, the, pos- the, the theory, creativity. The pizzazz, the pizzazz. Yeah. None of it. None of the sign. Yeah. You it were was, the sign guy. Yeah. And I was just, I don't know. Something about like going to Texas State, I guess, because sports aren't as big here. Yeah. Like I was like, eh. You should make signs for the Harry Potter, like. Oh, for Quidditch? Quidditch team. Yeah. Oh my gosh. They do very funny. well. They're like ranked nationally. We got like, I think like number two or something yeah. like that in the nation for Texas State. So maybe oh, you just start making like, here. what was the sign that you weren't allowed to use though during there, high school? There was, there was. Some got taken. One was taken. One was against uh, MacArthur uh, and their, their mascot was the Brahmas, I think, mm-hmm. which is like the holy cow or something. It's a cow? Yeah, something. Uh, it's a cow. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> our, um. Our pep rally that week was Hawaiian themed, 
And I was like, shit. So one side was MacArthur's worse than our parking because our high school's under construction. <laughs> oh, yeah. So nobody can find a parking spot. That was a funny one. Smash hit. Yeah. The other side was more Smash controversial. <laughs> the other side was Wait, more controversial. It was it was Brahmas can't get, and then it was a Hawaiian lay with an apostrophe. Oh, it was it. They can't get laid. Yeah. That was and one of my personal favorites. Yeah. One of the administrators confiscated it, and you know I think she's just a bag of fun. She was always like. I had a lot of administrators that, like, I like the principal thought it was cool. She liked it. Yeah. She still talks about it, like, every time, every now and then, like, I go to high school, go visit my teachers and stuff. But I think she was always hating on that. me. She was always hating on me for it. Uh, Say her name. I'll probably censor it, but yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, I yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Can we talk about Mr. Clark? Sure, I'll just. Is Sosa not the principal? Ms. Sosa. Ms. Sosa Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, I feel no. like this isn't relatable for San Marcos. Sorry, we can like. No, it's on. fine. Yeah, but no, but she was just a, a real bag of fun. We, we was, I had issues with her too. Yeah. So okay, so how was y'all's week in general? <laughs> Honestly, so I got a new job, so I'm gonna quit my old job. Where so are you working at now? Cool. I'm gonna be back to serving, just because like I like the money. Um. So please come tip me. Serving the country, and going back in the army. Oh, Jen no, the Marine. That's not for me, honestly. <laughs> Where are you working at? Um, I, I like, I like haven't even done my orientation yet, so I don't feel like I can say it. Yeah. <laughs> like, dosis. Yes. that out too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, but it's gonna, it's a really cool, like, Mexican restaurant, New Braunfels. Okay. Um, I had a friend that worked there. She actually works at the job I work at now. She, like, mm. got fired, and she would gotten me hired, so she left, so I was like, well, I'll leave. She basically, like, put you in and took herself out. No, she just got, like, fired. fired. What'd she do? She took a lunch break. Oh. <laughs> but, um, but no, I took a test. Um, I'm in like British Lit this year, which uh-huh. I really love, mm-hmm. but it's very like, I don't know, you have to go into a lot of detail to like, understand what I feel like. <laughs> Well, hey, yeah, uh, I mean, I hope y'all are looking forward to our uh, little coronation that's coming up. Bro. Two weeks spring break. They just announced it uh, earlier today. That is so exciting. How I'm, are you gonna spend it? Are you uh, gonna probably not doing shit because I, I had a, I had a, honestly, like these past two weeks have just been like a dumpster fire. Yeah. It's been a fire for sure, but I've I've reframed it from like dumpster fire to like a brush fire okay right so it's getting contained yeah. so well, it, but it's natural too like brush yeah. fires happen naturally they burn away all the stuff like all the stuff yeah. that blocks out sunlight for smaller plants burns it down and new things grow out of it yeah. and that's how i'm trying to like frame these past two weeks because it's been a rough ride you know yeah. uh broke up with my girlfriend and then my parents dropped a bomb on me on like wednesday that they're selling the house and they're moving and they're moving next month. And so And that's crazy because you grew up there, right? Yeah. It, I mean it was I've been there since I was five. Yeah. So that's like, a lot. It was a lot. But it's cool that you have these two weeks just take them like reset, you know, really like I feel like I'm a I'm a big believer of like after you get all that stuff out and sorted, like burn some yeah. sage in your room. Exactly. Like I'm get just the good vibes in. Just trying to keep positive vibes right now. <laughs> and so and then I've I've had like six exams between like oh, it, it was gosh. either presentations or like exams and stuff between <laughs> last Monday and today. So it's been a mm-hmm. long ride, but it's done now. Uh, baby's first failed exam, probably, for Smash 3. Really? Yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. So this is the thing that makes no sense to me. I'm not going to name the professor because I still have her class. And if this somehow blows yeah. up, I don't want to get in trouble for it. But basically, her policy is if you miss a test, you get a zero on it, but your final exam grade replaces that. Okay. Okay, right? But if I take all three exams and I fail one... The final exam grade doesn't replace it. That doesn't oh. make sense. That doesn't make sense, right? I was trying no. to explain that. I was like, so you just get a fourth like exam grade. Yeah, anything? it's just like a final exam. That's like not fair. Doesn't make any <laughs> sense at all. And so I was I trying to explain because here's the thing, like all I probably said about thirty percent of the class showed up for this. Everybody else dipped because she missed four days out of like between test one and test two. She missed four class days. Oh, so this would have been the test to miss. Yeah. Yeah. And so I showed up, and I was like, I don't know if I'm ready for this, I don't know. And then I was like, shit, I already walked all the way to campus, and I was like, nah. And so I got up, I like got up, said, adios, and she's like, alright, goodbye. And I said, and I walked five, like, steps out of the room, and I turned around and said, no, I'm taking it. And I regret it. So hard. That that test kicked my ass. Yeah, Absolutely. but I think but you need you to fail it. a test. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you you showed up, you took it, and, like, even if you fail it. The entire like, class failed, I'm pretty sure. But she also, exactly. half the class failed the last one, and she didn't curve it, so I don't know what to do about that. 
Honestly, she just if she's not fucking around. There's always gonna be professors that there's, just wanna fuck yeah. you up. There's always gonna be professors like that. My yeah. mom, um, she got a full ride to Texas State actually back in the day. Ooh. She um like yes. straight A Sherry. student. Back when it was yeah. Southwest Texas. Yeah, about, yeah. So um, but she has only ever received one B in her life. She's an English teacher. Like she's yeah. a teacher. She te- like she's always been an English major. Mm-hmm. And she got it in an English class. And the only reason she got a B was because she got a B on a paper. And the professor told her the reason he gave it to her was because no one gets through life always getting straight A's. And, like, sometimes you just have to, like, fail. Yeah. And, like, there was no reason for the bad grade. Damn. He just, like, wanted to teach her that. Oh, hey, so I mean. sometimes. It's, at this point, it's less about what happens and more about how you respond to it. Yeah. Like, I'm just trying to keep moving. I mean, of course, I'm looking forward to this break. Right oh, now, because yeah. oh, yeah. it's gonna be a nice little two week coronation. Coronation. Shout out to Corona. I'm like, should we say yeah. that? <laughs> I don't know, I feel like this might age poorly, but I mean, <laughs> yeah, so, so, so we're on break till we all get it. yeah, <laughs> we're on, so we're on break till March 30th, and then we'll have online classes up until April 12th mm-hmm. unless they extend it further if it gets worse. I do want to know how that's gonna work with classes. So I'm a public relations major, yeah. so it's not gonna affect me. But the like science majors, so the the ones that have to go to like labs, how yeah. are they gonna do online and still experiment. get that like material? I don't know. Like, I mean, I have a stats lab and it's SPSS and it's like a $200 piece of software. And you usually finish the assignments there, but if we're gonna be doing the assignments from home, I don't know what they're gonna do. Yeah. So I mean, it's gonna be. I want to. What does a music major do for that kind of stuff? Yeah, you have to be there. You yeah. have to have that interaction. I don't know. I wonder how they're gonna do that. Like, I, I hope this let's just let's just uh, let's let's stream our classes on Twitch. Let's just honestly, do it. I Twitch think stream. they should just wherever we're at now, whatever classes we're in this semester, we pass. Yeah. I mean, that'd be cool, but also like depends on GPA. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if your GPA is like a 2.3 or something, or a 2.0. So, like, they basically like just give you the credit to where it wouldn't yeah. hurt your yeah. GPA or just yeah. keep it the same? I wouldn't mind that. Right? This but, could just kind of be like a, like, you got your credit, you're done with it. Yeah. Like, you don't have to retake yeah. it, but, like, it doesn't really, yeah. you don't yeah. get really yeah. a good grade. I mean, I kind of I kind of saw this, this spring break extension coming because I was telling my friends who were asking all week, like, what do you think? Because some of the administrators met with student government on Monday to talk to us about it, and... They were still kind of, like, vague about it. Like, well, we're seeing, we're assessing as it goes. And yeah. I said, like, whatever UT does, probably Tech State's going to do the same. And we are. Yeah. We're extending the spring break by one week, and then we're doing online. Uh, of course, we don't have any cases on campus here yet. Yeah, I got that email yeah. today. So there's none, none of that yet. But also, the thing is, and I, I do kind of get tired when people keep saying, like, oh, it's just, it's just the flu, bro. It's mm-hmm. just the flu. I would simply just not get it. The problem is, with the flu, like, it has an incubation phase... Where, like, it's growing inside of you for, like, anywhere from one to three days. Yeah. The problem with the coronavirus is it incubates anywhere from two to 14 days. So, two days to two weeks. Mm-hmm. And so, while it's incubating, you're highly contagious, but you feel fine. So okay, yeah. So, so it's like, a lot more dangerous. So, if I, like, one of us could have it right now, but we couldn't tell if because if it's just incubating. But So, we go about our day. We go walking around, high-fiving people, shaking hands, touching door handles, whatever. And then, it's just and you're highly contagious. So, but nobody knows they're infected until it hits. Yeah. And by then, it's usually, especially for us young people, won't really affect us that bad. It's probably gonna be like getting the flu. Yeah. But it, you, the elderly and people with pre-existing medical conditions are at way higher risk. And that's that's more of the concern. That's why they're shutting a lot of stuff down. It's not because of like everybody's at risk. It's because you don't know that you have it until you're spreading it. And so they shut down. They canceled the 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 NBA yeah. for the rest of the season. They canceled the rest of March Madness for NCAA, which is a shame, really, because Texas State was doing really good in basketball. And really? I, we were probably going to make it to the tournament this year. Good for us. Yeah, yeah. but, of course, they canceled it. They canceled it right before we got there. So they don't want to see us thrive. <clears throat> they canceled the yeah, XFL TC. and then yeah, uh, the MLB and the NHL also got canceled. But, I mean, either way, it's going to spread because, like, I mean, I think most of us, especially our age, like, yeah, we're not going to be that impacted yeah. by it, but we all work in customer service. Yeah. yeah. And restaurants aren't going to close. They yeah. want to make money. Like, servers, like are threatened with like if you don't come in like you will be fired yeah. like so like I mean, it's not, shutting yeah. stuff down i feel like is like more of like a media precaution like yeah well i mean especially for like sporting events anything. like you're gonna have a ton of people crowded in together it's so uh, i mean it's it's, it's understandable and they push back they push back baseball season jen i know that you're disappointed about that because <laughs> i mean they're 
butts in the pants. Man, your butts in the pants. Oh my god, that's I all you need that. to know. Yeah. The butts in the pants. Dang, that is a and shame. Then, uh, yeah, they're pushing that. Oh, but, like festivals, yeah. a lot yeah. of shows. Which I get, they push back Coachella. But, yeah, like I understand. I mean, people but, are going out either way. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's better to prevent. And you saw, uh, y'all saw Tom Hanks got it right. Yeah. That made Tom, me sad. Yeah. Why? Why him? Can we pick somebody else? Anybody else? So many people like should have gotten it. I'll say it. There are so many celebrities that deserve to get coronavirus. I yeah. heard he had it, but I think that's a Twitter rumor. Yeah, I think it's just yeah. Twitter rumor. There's well, been a lot. There's know, been a lot of. It. We're coming yeah. for you. Trump. There's been a lot of Since misinformation. I don't get our our, door. My name is Alexis Rubinowitz and Trump. Oh Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> What's my little ass gonna do to him? Fuck! Like, I'll give him a, a good spray tan. <laughs> He'll be scared. Sorry. Yeah, right, watching well, Trump. Stop. Trump had a whole like national address, and he's gonna suspend travel from Europe and stuff for the next thirty days. Oh, he can't do sucks. that. Honestly. But look, all I'm saying is, to to I would rather get look. I saw a Twitter post. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I don't know who posted it, but mm. uh, it was a picture of like Kevin Durant. He was in like a hospital bed. It was him after surgery. It was unrelated, but the picture is basically him in the hospital bed and says, "Me and me in the ER with coronavirus after doing my world tour for thirty six dollars <laughs> and seventeen cents." Like Literally. these flights are super cheap now. So I would I love mean, to just go. Like honestly, the only reason I haven't booked my flight is because I have a puppy. Yeah, yeah. you gotta take care of the pups. You guys, you guys are co-parenting, right? Co-parenting a nice, a nice little <laughs> pack of dogs. Honestly, we're, co- we're co-parenting way too well. Yeah, too well. like we take different shifts. Like yeah. I know her school schedule pretty much. She knows yeah. my school and work schedule pretty much. Like. In the mornings before I go to work, I put them in her room. Then mm-hmm. she puts them in our other roommate Alyssa's room when she leaves yeah. for class because Alyssa has classes later in the mm-hmm. day. Like we all do like trades off because Alyssa has a dog too, so yeah. it's really cool. She encouraged both of us to get puppies, so she's definitely probably like our worst roommate. <laughs> and I'll say that on air. Fuck <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> She's in here, by the way. For yeah, Alyssa's Alyssa definitely the worst. <laughs> But, you okay. know, it's all right. Really we had to have someone legal in the house. She's yeah. over 21. Yeah, we needed that. Everybody so needs works. that. You know what? I feel used. Count your days. You Count your days. <laughs> Ten dollars for prostitution. Ten dollars for prostitution on you. <laughs> you can't always have a quiet room. Yeah. And there's puppies. <laughs> we got the, the co-parenting. The parent. And Tots. And now we got the dogs in here yeah, right now, now actually. So, so, where's he? The, pu- the pups want to pups want to go live. My dog has really bad separation anxiety. Mm. He actually shits himself when he's alone. Holy shit! <laughs> it's, it's really bad. It, I used to like cry I'm coming home. Like I would drive home from work, and just start crying because I knew I was coming home. But like shit. Just shit himself on the floor. Yeah, he would just shit himself all on his crate. Like he was just really stressed. So we've done a lot to like work on that. And now he's really bonded with Lexi's dog because they're only yeah. a couple months apart in the age. Mm-hmm. And so like he can be without a person in the room. As long as, like, he has her. Yeah. So, basically, Lexi and I have to live together until our dogs die. You guys are the best moms. (laughs) This is what motherhood's all about. We have to. They are so in love. It's so cute. They share toys. So, what's, what's the story behind each of their names? Like... What'd you name him Taz? After, like, Tasmanian Devil? Or? Actually, yeah. I did name him after that. I wanted something cute and, like... I really wanted to name him Ziggy. Yeah. Um, Just because I love that name. Mm-hmm. And then... Were you just I not was, getting Ziggy vibes or what? I don't know. He was really weird when he first got here. He was really, like, sick when I got him. Like, oh. I got him from, like... A, like, he just wasn't feeling his best. He had, like, uh, worms and stuff like that. And he was really, like, underdeveloped. That's mm-hmm. why he's, like, super small. Yeah. Um, Definitely the run. Yeah. So he just, I felt like he was more of like a calm but like crazy sometimes. Yeah. And he definitely has. Because now that he's gotten a little bit bigger, he's the sweetest. Mm-hmm. He's such a mama's boy. But like yeah. he'll have like times where he just loses his cool and just yeah. runs around. So it definitely fits him. What about the name Hayes, Lexi? Hayes, well, you know, she's just a really calm dog. And um, there's just an indica <laughs> <laughs> out there, you know, calm. Makes you the same way, so that's where we get the name. Hey, I mean she's she's a total sweetie. Oh yeah, yeah. she's such a sweetheart. She, she is just super sweet. loves to be happy and to be around people, <laughs> and I love it so much. She's awesome. Yeah. We didn't mean to do this, but um, our other roommate, her name's her dog's name is Zeus. Yeah. So we have like all the Z's. Zeus is in the house right now. Taz, Hayes, and Zeus. Zeus is in the house. She said, "What's up?" <laughs> Being a good little boy. Zeus today. does not like having other dogs in the oh. house. He is such an only child. 
Yeah, he Nathan had Loki up beef, but it's yeah. okay. I remember first time we came over here, like, do not throw the toy back to him because he won't leave you alone <laughs> yeah. if you do. Do not give him attention. Like, if people hearing this think we're crazy dog people, like, we literally are. Like, our house has so many animals. <laughs> <laughs> but they're all loved. So much. <laughs> all right. We're going to take a quick break here to pet the dogs, and we'll be right back. And while we're on break, here is some brand new music from Paul Peralza from 70 Flat to kick off your spring break the right way. back and uh jenna lexi I, I hate to break it to you guys but um you know why we're here we're here for your counseling session for uh for your intervention and your friendship here uh we, we've heard that your, your your dog marriage has been on the rocks uh it's getting intense we've been needing it honestly <laughs> please yeah. be the oprah this is all this has all been a ploy yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm dr phil here yes honestly i don't even know what our beef is but we just have it well, our beef can start. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you exactly. Where yeah, yeah, you're totally right, except for the part where like you're not. So let me tell you why you're wrong. Exactly. No, <laughs> so when no. did our beef start? I feel like we started having a little bit of beef freshman year when we got a little too drunk in the bed and woke up in some vomit. And you, 
And what do you have to say about it? You know what? We had multiple problems freshman year, so I'll address <laughs> that. So freshman That's, year, oh shit. I did get a little too drunk and wake up in some vomit. Mm-hmm. But Lexi was my roommate, so she should have turned me on my side so I didn't die. But instead, she didn't. She went back to sleep. Secondly, okay, first of all, immediately were... after, she moved out and left me to live by myself and get a new random roommate, who was nice. But still. No, it's not immediately after. First of all, yes, I moved out. I'll admit that. We all have a depression. But, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Cleveland, let me break this down for right. you. So we're drinking. Yeah. And she is in her top locked asking for more shots. Mm-hmm. And I said, oh, I think we've had enough for the night, sweetie. Gave her a glass of water to drink. She yelled at me for that, too. Damn. And then we go to bed. And then in the middle of the height in the night, you just hear some retching. <laughs> some, some throwing up. Some noises. heaving, some dry heaving. And I said, Yo, Jim, you good? <laughs> and she said, Yeah. And I said, Did you throw up? And she goes, Yeah, I did. And I was like, Well, you wanna you wanna you need help? You wanna clean it? And she goes, No, nah, I'm just gonna go back to bed. And I was like, Are you well, sure? Well you should have known you should help me yeah. anyway. <laughs> You you know how you get you get so mad. But you could have like I feel like if I had to like narrate this part, it'd be like Lexi woke up to hear Jen dry heaving. Yeah. Lexi asked, Jen, are you good? Jen says, Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Jen lied. <laughs> Jen lied. Exactly. <laughs> but so, I and then she went around acting like it was my fault. Well, because I woke up like literally laying on my back, like vomit in my hair on the sides of my face. Like, like I literally could have died. I feel like she woke up and then and I would throw also- up on her bed. I would like to add, she did not throw up in her sleep on her back like she's trying to portray right this second. Well, how would I know? Because thing. I was asleep. Because you were awake. Because I, I was you unconscious. <laughs> I was full you of answers. Out. It's not my fault. <laughs> Sam Lowe shows you a place where friendships go to end. <laughs> <laughs> it's where the friendship dies on a podcast. We should, also, we if my mom's top listening top to this, I don't even turn drink turn that much. Turn Why? Turn you know I don't. <laughs> went down. Yeah. That was freshman year. <laughs> like, that was a while ago. ago. This, is, this is the new and improved gen. And like, <laughs> but, um, no, you definitely should have helped me that You night. are so high. Do you remember her loft, like, super, like, six feet in the air? Yeah, yeah. No, How I am I supposed to get her down? How that is a good point. How am I supposed point. to I help mean, her? It would have been have more hard. I think mistakes were both made, but you guys are still friends now, right? Yeah, I mean. we are. <laughs> yeah, we live together. We yeah. <laughs> live together. <laughs> dogs again. together. But, fucking bitch. Not <laughs> <laughs> We really want to get bite, like the boxing gloves, the inflatable ones yeah. that you can buy off Soccer Amazon, boppers? and just no like real boxing gloves. You oh, just okay. like inflate them, and then we want to just keep them like in the storage unit or something for whenever we really get upset yeah. with each other. Altercation, and like, fight it out. Friday night fight. Yeah, night. just exactly. go for it. Dude, and then you can make money there. on it. Like look, people start placing bets on it. <laughs> yeah, you know what? If you want to place bets on me and Jen, like dude, gambling, yeah, fri- please, yeah. I need the money every Friday night. Our house. Friday night <laughs> fight <laughs> night. Just Friday night. I'll be the announcer. I'm gonna fight be here. You look like a thumb. I'm gonna fight you. A thumb, oh, oh. honestly. You know what? Can I say something on here? You can yes. edit it out if I can't. Okay. <laughs> so the UTSA cheer page, no. sis. Y'all still follow me on Twitter, which is cute. But your little brunette ex cheerleader doesn't. So like. Whoa. I don't know. We personally don't have any beef. I think your cheers are cute. What y'all do is cute. I didn't think she was cute, and I'm glad she didn't make the cut this season. That's all I have to say. She knows who she is. Dishing hot takes. (laughs) Speaking of the heat, this is a quality segue right here. Speaking of the heat... I want to hear about your past summer experience that y'all talked about earlier. I made y'all cut it short because I want to get this on the podcast. Oh, no, you're totally fine. Um, this summer, Lexi and I took a trip with my mom. Where'd it's you guys go? A girl's trip. Florida. To Florida. Just a little cute little thing. We were going to go visit my aunt and uncle. Like, Family yeah. beach trip. Yeah. yeah. Like you. My mom, like, my parents literally Six. consider Lexi as like my sister. So like yeah. when we go on family trips, like of course Lexi goes. So it was just supposed to be a cute little thing. We go to Florida for a couple days, you know, spend some time on the beach, have fun. Yeah. Well, Lexi and I had, like, some drinks, and then we had a bag of wine, and Mm -hmm. we were laying just, like, kind of in the water. Yeah. Just, you know, slightly, slightly relaxed, just Mm -hmm. sipping out the bag. Yeah. And I think you can probably take it from here. Well, you know, we, Jen asked for the bag next, and I pick it up. It's empty. Oh, no. So, naturally, what do we do? We get up. 
in blackout. That's the last oh, thing geez. we remember. Yo, stand, stand up. up. We mm-hmm. stood up. I remember standing and up. pitch black. That's oh, no. It. But we made it up the beach. Um, I There's these, like, beach chairs, and you had, like, her aunt would always, like, emphasize that we take the chairs back to the top. And yeah. she left me down there, drunk and alone, and I had to carry these two beach chairs back, and they were so heavy, like, in the sand. And, and I'm sorry fell. for that, but I don't even know where I was. <laughs> so, like, I'm sorry. I think you were on the stairs crying. And I might have been... <laughs> Um, but then my mom actually, uh, saw us because Lexi went to get us more drinks and I'm still crying and yell, Lexi, two more. And my mom walks on down and she says, nope. <laughs> and cause I kind of remember that part because I feel like even when you're really, really blacked out, if you see a parent, you're going to sober up for a second. So I remember I was so sobbing on the floor and I see my mom's feet and I just go oh my god my mom's here and I just (laughs) look up and then I remember like she goes get up get up like telling me to get up off the floor I got up and then I was blacked out again oh no (laughs) (laughs) and then it's later that night we're in bed we're ready to go to bed and you know (laughs) pitch black in the room again and you just hear slight sobs (laughs) And, and Jen's mom asks Lexi are you okay and I just have to go yeah, I just have anxiety. <laughs> like, but, you know, Jenna really had my back back then. <laughs> Once again, Lexi, are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm okay. Lexi lied. <laughs> yeah. Lexi lied. <laughs> just narrate the life. Just just a life for, for Jenna, Lexi. It's just, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. A lot of lying. I lied. A lot of lying. <laughs> My mom's probably going to watch this podcast and send me a text and be like, are you proud of this? Like, is that why you're telling me stories? I'm like, mom, I'm not proud. Like, I just want to share my Learn from our mistakes. Yeah, like, I don't Do want not. people to lay down drinking bags of wine on the beach. It's yeah. not That's safe. my moral. Probably it was not fun, good. not safe. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've... Would do again. Yeah. Definitely. This summer. <laughs> well, I remember my last spring break. I'm not going anywhere for the spring break because mm. my plans fell through with a Airbnb, which... Kind of sucks because I, I I picked out this like beautiful place right on right on the beach in Port A. It was gonna mm-hmm. be a whole vibe, six beds, split between six oh, people. It's oh like hundred thirty bucks for four nights. Uh huh. That sounds perfect. It's a good it's a good little deal. And things just kind of like fell through. Uh, part of it's because of like the Corona travel thing. Some people are supposed to be coming in from out of town, but now their parents don't want them traveling and stuff. So it just kind of fell through. But last spring break went to uh, Padre. And and we, there's only one good day of weather. You know, weather. I've never been to Padre. You're not missing out on much. It's dirty. Like, yeah, I don't like it that much. I don't think I've been either. You're, it's really not the hyped up. Uh, but there's only, like, the weather, for the most part, sucked there. It was usually cloudy and, like, rainy. Mm. We had one day of good weather. And we all went out to the beach. And where we had this really strong limoncello yeah. that we mixed with lemonade. And... You couldn't have, like, open drinks on the beach and stuff because we are underage, so we took, like, Whataburger cups and, like, Yetis yeah. and stuff. And I remember that was probably, like, just sitting down. Like, you don't realize how drunk you are. And I stood up. Like, oh, I sat back down. I remember I laid on the... We all went off. Like, there was three of us. We all went off in our own directions. Uh, Chloe and Kendall were, like, off in the water. Kendall was, like, trying to chase something in the water. And then Chloe was, uh, like, laying right on, the, like, the tide area. So she's, like, letting the waves wash over her. And she just got her hair done. And so it bleached her hair after that because oh all the God. sand and the sun. <gasps> oh, my God. So it completely oh bleached her hair. Yeah, and, and I, meanwhile, I'm over on the towel. So I'm hanging on. You're like big I am chilling. hanging on for dear life listening to Jimmy Buffett. I'm like, <laughs> this is the way I get Margarita. I was like, oh my God. Get it. I'm dying. It's like, sometimes, I had a case of the Mondays, Jen. Let me tell you. Yeah, well, sometimes when you're that drunk, you just have to get through it. Yeah. Like, you just have to be like, okay, like, I'm already here. Like, I was watching the seagulls, like, on. circle me. I'm like, I'm just hanging in there. Are they here for me? Yeah, like, we are vibing. Yeah. Now, now, before we before we kind of like wrap things up here, I do have one final note in here that says, "Does a true friend leave their friend for dead?" <laughs> you mentioned this earlier, so does I they? does that do do, does they God, leave their do friends they? for dead? Not clickbait. They? Do they? Are you about to drag Lexi? It just <laughs> it just ties back into like I feel like a lot. <laughs> We've been friends. <laughs> 
friends for a really long time. I am being left for dead <laughs> like in a, figuratively right now. In a multitude of different situations, one of us has almost died, and the other person has really just let it happen. Just really dropped the ball. You gotta ride your own fucking wave. On and this that beach. really is why we've stayed friends for so long, because we support everything one another does, but when it comes down to it, you did it. You're on like, your own wave, real, dog. Real, I'm yeah. on my own wave. We're, we're riding together, but we aren't on the same wave Yeah, right like, maybe that freshman experience in college was me getting you back from when we were at Six Flags, and I was getting harassed by this little boy. He was yeah. literally trying to take my swimsuit off, and what his family fuck? thought it was hilarious. How old and is this I, kid? He's, no, like, nine. Like, like, oh, it was so God. ridiculous. And she's ridiculous. just sitting there. I was Catch a child. Laughing. I was literally like yeah. twelve at the time. Like yeah, now, I, mean, I would have like supposed to do, him. But exactly, you ride your own way. <laughs> you do ride your own way. Yeah, you so, but does a true friend leave their friend for dead? I would say you know, no. Half dead. Half dead. Because we're not dead him. yet. You call the ambulance. Actually, you, you guys, know. you guys are both. <laughs> you guys are both dead. This is actually like the purgatory interview right now. Like <laughs> oh the God. Sam Mo show is actually like just. Like the passing through part, like this is that would be crazy. How well this you do on interview. the episode, like decides heaven or hell for you. Oh, we are so, literally. Y'all better straight. You, you better clean your act. Up. Honestly, the only <laughs> way I'd want to go to heaven is if I could chill with Lexi. Or if, uh, what, but what if your dog can go too? Oh uh, well, Taz well, is going. There are things in the boys. All the good, all the good boys. Yeah, I'm not I'm worried about him. I'm worried about us getting in. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like if one of us didn't, the other would just go up to God and like, just or whatever the higher, would, like whatever yeah. higher being it is or wherever we're at, and just be like, hey, come on, the blonde girl downstairs, bring her up. Like, or I'm going down there. Yeah, like yeah, something has gotta, to change. Well, there should be like a nice little in between. How yeah. come yeah. no one's ever talked about that? Like, the in- it's, per- it's, purgatory. it's purgatory. It's yeah. purgatory. So do we just yeah. stay on the show forever then? Yeah, until yeah. until you are until you do something either profoundly good or profoundly bad, and then and then like I'm gonna like press a button on my laptop here, and like the floor is gonna open up, or the ceiling's gonna open up, yeah. and y'all either gonna float out, y'all gonna like drop like a rock. Man, it's probably gonna be something bad. <laughs> I mean, at least we're already sitting. We can just go straight down. Yeah. We'll final, be together, bro. Final question. Do hot, does a pineapple belong on pizza? Yes. Uh, the texture. Oh, uh, all right. Well, Lexi, you're going to hell. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was the question that's yeah. going to sign it all. It? Separate, yes. Together, maybe. I've tried. It's okay. It's like, like, I, I don't have an it. issue with it. it. I don't see the very big, like. Like, if I was at a party and they're like, oh, we got pizza and it's got pineapple, I'd be like, oh, okay, dope. Right, like, I'm drunk and hungry, I'm gonna yeah. eat it. Like, but, like, I'm never like, hungry. yeah, let me get pineapples on that. Exactly. Papa Extra John, Father John, please. let me get a, let me get a My, some yeah, pineapple Yeah, make your all pizza all soggy. You know. See, I would. Why? Because it's good. But what what this, about it, though? I just love it. I mean, yeah. I grew up on it. If you're gonna have junk food, why have fruit with it, kind of? <laughs> You gotta go, yeah, yeah I agree with like, that. You gotta go all in. The texture yeah. is wrong. Yeah. I got grilled a couple episodes ago with my friend Garrett for, for liking the idea of like a PB&J pizza. Yeah, I probably wouldn't get behind that one either. Yeah. Okay, um, apparently I'm, I'm open to new things. Like, it's like, a, like it's kind of like TC's like dessert pizzas. Like. I don't think I like dessert pizzas either. No, yeah. shit. I'm willing to try it. I haven't tried it yet. So would it just be like a crust and then peanut butter and jelly? Yeah, but it's like mixed together, kind of. You know, would the crust be hard? I don't think so. Would and I think like I think it would taste crust? better if it was like cool, like colder. Cool, yeah. yeah. Like I feel like warm PB. I'm picturing be gross. like a giant. Yeah. What were the things? The uncrustables, like a giant uncrustable. Oh, yeah. God, a giant I would eat that. Just like unfolded. I, I got a whole box yes. of uncrustables for spring break. I remember we lived off that like for oh, a whole yeah. week, just a, a family pack of like crustables. I wish you you know, when that. you put it that way, I can get behind it. Like some yeah. grape jelly. Just the pizza shaped uncrustable. Yeah. Exactly. It's shaped like a friend. A friend. A friend. PB and J Pizza is our friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all, it has been such a blast having you guys Honestly, on. Honestly, thank, thank you so you much. Thank you so much for no. letting us be on. Thanks for having me over. This is really cool <laughs> to hang so out with y'all. Fun. Well, if you like what you heard, be sure to follow us on Twitter at Sam Mo Show if you want Sam Moore. And I will see you guys two weeks from now. We're going to take a two-week hiatus for spring break and uh, the coronacation after that. And then we'll be back once classes start online. Uh, and I will see you guys in two weeks.